XRP. Now, the question here is, will the U.S. government start buying XRP? And look, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know what is going to happen. But let me tell you the things that I'm seeing right now. Ripple is launching a U.S. dollar stablecoin, uh, which is going to take on Tether and Circle. And that's USDT and USDC. Now, that is going to motivate when the U.S. is done with their lawsuit. And by the way, this is not a lawsuit of hate. This is a lawsuit of, hey, you broke the rule. That's all this is. So the U.S. government could most likely get into XRP. We've heard rumors that Donald Trump will introduce Bitcoin as a strategic reserve for the U.S. government going into his administration. Will that play out positively the way that we think that it will? I don't know yet. It's a little bit early, but blockchain firm Ripple is launching a U.S. dollar stablecoin. Now, once it does that, there's going to be some kind of tie here that they will use between that and XRP. Will it stabilize XRP? Probably not, but they will start using the Ripple USD, RUSD, I don't know, USDR, whatever they're going to call it here. Um, they're going to use it, I'm sure, uh, as a backing for XRP at some point. Now, the important part to this is uh, stable coin, back dollars, et cetera, et cetera. Once we're done, XRP, the XRP ledger, is the financial instrument of the future. The U.S. government has even had discussions with XRP about integrating XRP Ledger into their transactions for the U.S. government. But a Ripple stablecoin is also going to serve the purpose of uh, making it an on-demand liquidity product, which aims to settle transactions rapidly between banks and financial firms. What does that mean? Well, that would mean that the likelihood is if they use the XRP ledger, they're going to use the stablecoin ledger. And in the event that they do, that's RLUSD right there. So uh, Ripple Labs US dollars. So <sighs> Ripple has faced obstacles in finding a use case for Ripple with banks and payment firms. Santander initially wanted to use XRP for cross-border payments, but chose not to after finding Ripple isn't active enough markets yet to support its needs. MoneyGram ended a partnership to use XRP for cross-border transfers after citing increased costs associated with the need for partnerships with exchanges and other necessary counterparties in local markets. MoneyGram's kind of, uh, you know, I don't like American Express. Garlinghouse insists, I worked for American Express for a lot of years, by the way, don't like. Uh, Garlinghouse insisted that Ripple hasn't given up on XRP as a payment token and that stable coins would serve as more of a complementary product of the XRP ecosystem. We've been using stable coins in our payment flow for years. This is not a new thing for us. Us. He added that other so-called layer one protocols have launched stable coins and log growth in overall volume and liquidity. So what he's doing is we're creating an ecosystem here that will allow for Ripple to continue to grow the XRP system and by proxy the XRP ledger. So with that being the case, it is standard to think that the U.S. government, as we become more pro crypto as a government, that we're going to see some sort of move here for the U.S. government to start to accumulate some XRP, especially because in the event that the, the, the negotiations are in fact taking place, and there are negotiations taking place right now between Ripple and the U.S. government, if they do accept that, then they're going to need XRP tokens in order to settle the transaction. So if that is the case, then there you have it. The U.S. government most likely on the verge of buying XRP. You know what also is happening with XRP right now? There was a 10% in the last bunch of days. Um, the reserves on OKX have plummeted by about 10%, but a lot of people, a lot of people uh, are, are buying XRP, pulling it off of exchanges right now, which is going to create a run. It's always the case. A notable finding in this report says that there's a 10% decline uh, in XRP on exchanges right now. User assets dropped uh, to about from 207, 270, 271 million tokens down to 249 million, which is a reduction of a significant amount, about 13 million pulled off of exchanges. Now, if that's happening, then where is that going? What's well, going into cold wallets or, or storage wallets uh, for people? So what does that mean? That usually means that there's most likely a pump that's coming very, very soon. Now, are we looking at the pump starting right now? Well, um, look, in fact, no. But if we look at the chart, then we can see that 
not only did we have a nice move, remember, this was 38 cents just a couple of days ago. So what did you get on XRP? If you accumulated here, then you had a nice little 65% run. 65% was about to pump on most of these tokens, and it came up into the top of this range. And the question would be, what happens now that we're up here at the top? Well, most likely we get a breakdown. We get a test at the 200, test at the 50. Uh, maybe we get a test back down here and get a lower low. And there's a reason for that. And the reason that I said, beware, we could be in max pain right now. This could be the max pain event. Now, if you look more broadly at the, the overall market, this right here, that kind of felt like max pain to a lot of people. And when we got this reversal, it was a nice little reversal, but here we are spiking back down. Could this be part of this right here, which is this declining sort of trend line? I don't think so. I think that we're scheduled for a breakout. I think that more broadly, we're looking at a big time breakout coming uh, in a short while. Uh, in fact, you know, if you just kind of look at this and, and, you know, kind of move it around to get to the right spots here, you can find that we are in a descending pattern. However, that just means new buyers are not stepping in, by the way. Uh, it is only a matter of time before we find enough buyers to break out into this range and then boom, do a couple of retests and then there's the breakout. And by the way, this is going to happen soon. I've got this breaking out right here into September. I don't think it's going to be that long. JP Morgan thinks that we're going to have a massive altcoin season in August. Uh, a lot of people are looking at the charts and they're saying, you know what, we're ready for a breakout. Everything is happening. It's all, Remember yesterday or, or day before I showed you the altcoin chart uh, where we've already done the test and the retest. It is time for the explosive upward momentum move. It's all coming. We're just not exact. We didn't hit it right there. So we'll see whether or not this this really happens or or not. But I I don't think that there's any reason to think that it's not going to. It has always happened before. It's the bull run where where we've not hit golden bull yet. Uh, what we did do, by the way, though, if you look at the crypto total market cap, uh, what we did is we skipped the 50. We didn't test the 200, but you can see here that we bounced in the daily. We bounced off of the the 20, and now we're back in reversal mode now. I don't know if that continues. Again, this this it's the U.S. market on the clock, um, and if there's liquidity there to be sucked out, you can assure them, you be assured that they're going to suck it out. But for the moment now, uh, we've got a, a, a decent move. So, uh, what does it mean for XRP? And look, when you look at the XRP chart, I got to tell you, okay, um, this looks like it's about to explode. Okay, we had a big move up here, and if you look right here. We're continuing to move up, 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 and we are, let's move this slightly down just a, a little bit right here on this right there. And you can see like, isn't that pretty? Like what we're doing right now is we're minting this, we've got this big move right here, and then we've got this sideways action right now playing out, but it's pushing up, pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. And what is the next move? Well, you know, if you look at it, um, uh, most likely the next move breaks out here and we're looking at 85 cents. Uh, I think 94 is the, the big move. But if you if you notice right here, there is a top sort of in that 82 to 84 range. So I think this next big impulse move is coming. And this next impulse move is going to boom, break out into that 82 to 84 cent range. Now, is that a huge move? No. Uh, in fact, it's about 40%. However, this move that we had before was about 60. So you're talking about 100% or so. That's a pretty significant spike in interest and price on XRP. And remember that settlement is coming very, very soon. So with a settlement coming, it is not going to be very long. It's not going to be very long before you start looking back and saying, wow, XRP really did break out. Like what the f is going on here? It'll look, it, look, you're, you're going to be, I think you're going to be super happy with your XRP. Uh, the one thing that I've told you before, and I will tell you again, the issue that you have of concern in the event that you have any kind of concern with XRP is very simple. How much is uh, Ripple Labs going to continue selling on the chart? And I don't have an answer for you on that, but I do think that, you know, at some point they're going to have to slow down. A lot of what they're doing and selling, I think, is that they're taking little pieces because they know they've got a settlement. They know they've got to pay. I think they've been preparing for it. So I think once we know the amount, once we have some clarity, then this thing is free 
to set sail. And here's the other part. Remember, a lot of places delisted XRP and they're going to, the, some of them relisted it already, but others are going to continue to relist and you're going to start to see a big move. And then when retail comes back in, XRP is big. Bitcoin is big. Ethereum is big. XRP, one of the top cryptos, uh, top crypto assets, it's set for an explosive sort of move. And, it, you know, we're, are we talking about $1.93? Are we talking about the previous high uh, at basically $2? No. Uh, we're talking more like three dollars. Uh, I would I would think from where we are right. And, and by the way, I know that when you look at that, and you're like, "Well, it's only a five X." Well, you know, a lot of you've been in here for a long time when it was down here at the five cent range because you've been holding on to it forever. You know, shit like that. So uh, there there is a bigger move on the horizon for for Ripple. You you are about to experience uh, a crazy crazy run. Cryptonomy.finance just had an update. They are now available in four different languages. In active development are a lot of cool different updates and information about partnerships from Cryptonomy that's going to be announced very very soon. Now, to be part of that, follow them on Telegram at Cryptonomy underscore finance and on Twitter at Cryptonomy underscore Phi. Now, what's going on with Cryptonomy.finance is nothing short of incredible. My positions on this launch pad have been just outstanding. And my contract ends November 21 of 2024. And at this point, I think that that's not even going to be the max of the bull run. So if you will give me just a moment here, I'm going in. By the way, I've done very well on Cryptonomy. I'm going to go with the silver level contract and end right here 19 june 2025 we're gonna go three bitcoin on this move all right so we've got a bronze that's been just absolutely killing the game guys i put in half a bitcoin uh previously if you remember that was thirty thousand dollar bitcoin at that point so you know we put in about fifteen thousand dollars my crude interest so far and by the way i do have this is a share because it's a 50 50 split but my cut of that eighty four thousand two hundred forty one dollars right now in bitcoin so this is an incredible rate of return so far for Cryptonomy.finance. So uh, do you want to be part of that? Sign up to Cryptonomy.finance today.